Hi, my name is Ponchi, and this video is going to show you how to install all the software that you need for your PunchTech 3D printer. If you're not already there, go to punchtech.com and click on Downloads. On this page, on the top here, this blue screen here, this is where you'll find the most current software available. Please come back to check for updates. Down here, there's a button. Click on that to download the file. Then you'll get this pop-up down here. Click on Run. This will download the file. Once the file has been downloaded, you may get an error message from Windows saying that this could be harmful to your computer. Click on Actions and then select Run Anyway. On this pop-up, which you may not see on the video, click Yes. Now, we're going to select English as our language. Now, this is going to install Reptirehost, which is the software that you'll be using for printing. Click on Next, Accept, and then click Next. We're going to choose to install in the default location. Click on Next, Next again. And if you'd like to create a desktop icon, you can select this. I'm going to opt not to and click on Next. And then Install. Now this is important. Don't uh, choose to launch Reptir Host. We're going to uncheck that and then click on Finish. And this window, which you may also not see, may not be captured with this software, uh, you select Yes. Next software is the Adreno setup. And this software is what you will be using to upload uh, new versions of the firmware. There will be more videos for that and it's also the compiler so you can actually go and edit firmware if you wish to and recompile it make your own personal changes for now we're going to click on I agree next install Now also here you may get a pop-up to install the drivers. The drivers are needed to communicate with the printer. Uh, in my case it didn't come up because the drivers are already pre-installed on here. But if you get those windows uh, just choose to select yes. Now we'll click on close. Here we'll click on next, install. And now finish. And when you get to this message, you should have had uh, all the software installed with no problems. Next, let's go to Start, All Programs. Look for Punch Tech folder. Here you'll see a folder, Ordbot. This is where the firmware is, which you won't be needing unless you want to do some editing to the firmware. This is a link to my website and this is the software you're going to be using for printing. Let's start that Reptir host up. Now we'll connect the printer to the PC. So take a standard 
USB cable connected from the PC to the back of the printer in the USB port. Plug the power in and then turn the switch on the front to on. You'll notice that it's installing the driver and it's on COM4. Make note of COM4. Now we'll go to config, printer settings, and we'll have to set the COM port to whatever Windows issued. In my case it was COM4. And also check that it says Ordbot here. This means that all the configurations were installed correctly during the during the setup of the software. And now that we've set the COM port, everything else should be OK. Click on OK. And now go to connect up here on the left. And we'll go to the manual tab and you'll notice that when this says idle, the printer is ready to go. Now just to check to make sure things are working correctly, let's hit the home X and we should see the X axis move to the home position. I'll briefly go through what these are. This is to home the X axis, Y, Z, and to home all the axes. These arrows will move that particular axis in that direction. Notice how the further out to the tip that I go, the further the distance it will travel. These are for the z-axis, up and down. The speed multiplier here, you would rarely have to touch the flow rate. But let's say that you're printing an object and you just want to speed it up. You can move this slider bar and print at 230% the speed, or you can go slower. And this is something you can play around with to see how, how fast this machine can go. Um, you can also control it from the LCD, um, and I have other videos that will show you how to do that. This section here is for the extruders, um, for the extruder. This turns on the extruder and turns it off. This is the actual temperature, and this is the set temperature. And these you can use to load the filament and to extrude and this is to unload it. It pulls the filament back out of the extruder. This section here is for the heat bed. Again, it's similar to the extruder where you can turn it on here. And this is the set temperature and this is the actual temperature. This controls the fan on the extruder and this is full on 100%. You want to keep this on f full blast when you have the extruder going. Uh, and the software, when you print, uh, will automatically set all these. These are just for, for you mo moving stuff manually. Thank you very much for watching this video, and please visit my site and check out some of my other videos.